you um, for uh, making the sacrifice and running against him. Thank you. I know it takes a lot of courage. It's not easy. It's uh, you know. No, I, it's I've not heard an that he's time. not very nice, but he hasn't been super mean to me yet. But I'm, I'm waiting for it to come. I'm building up my thick skin. Well, my, my we needed someone better. like that, so thank you for stepping up and filling the void. Two quick questions. First off, um, when I moved down to Arizona, um, the state debt had been slowly going down, slowly going down. This is a good thing. Currently, it's slowly going up. Will you promise to do what you can? I understand you're only one among a many. I'm but 90. Can well, you, 91. Can you do what, what you can to change that trend and, and get the state debt? Can you promise at least you, you'll give it your all? Yes, I will, and I have. I mean, you know, the budget last time was not a popular budget. I will tell you that. I mean, we got a lot of pressure. We were getting arrows at us from every direction, even from conservatives on some, some things that they wanted more money. I think that we had to tighten our belt, and I think we are going to have to continue to do that over some time. People like to forget about the debt. Um, they like to just pretend like it doesn't exist and that we're doing doing great. Um, you have got to pay off that debt in order to fill in the hole that we've put ourselves into so that we have a firm foundation in Arizona to soar economically. And, and that's what I will continue to work on. I believe debt you suffer. Yes. So, you know, the, unfortunately, the, uh, the Democrats believe debt is good. Uh, yes. The other question is, knowing you, you have an insight in the medical field, is there any plan out there that cuts the insurance companies and the government out of the relationship between patients and medical facilities and doctors? In other words, is there anything like a, um, a medical facility uh, nonprofit insurance or anything like that? Yeah, there are several things that are out there even right now that cut the middleman out. One is, is called direct primary care, and that was under assault two years ago. I actually got a bill bill passed to protect direct primary care where believe it or not patients could just go to a doctor and they could get what they want without the middleman without the government without the the insurance company but the department of insurance in arizona wanted to regulate it as a mini health maintenance organization hmo and that it had nothing to do with a mini hmo it was it and it's out in Sholo, and there is a huge population of poor people out there who are now able to get care from a doctor who cares about them. I really think that Obamacare is devised to uh, basically tear up the doctor-patient relationship, to completely decimate it, and to make you all think as patients that the computer is actually your doctor or your provider. You don't, you don't even, everybody doesn't need a doctor, your provider. And whoever's sitting on the other side of it should be just fine with you, whether it's a doctor, a nurse, a PA, or some other kind of healthcare provider that we don't even know about. For me, I think the doctor-patient relationship is so important to health of that individual patient. And I don't want to kill the art of medicine, which is the, the interaction between the doctor and the patient. The science is there, and the science is what we utilize every single day, but the art is how we take care of each one of you individually, and Obamacare wants to kill that.